welcome to Vlogmas day 10. I was all confused yesterday with eight and nine. I was tired, y'all, forgive me. But um, Roberto and I, Roberto, say hi. Oh. We are headed to the other part of the hotel, Renaissance Island or whatever. We're gonna go eat, get some food in our system. If we have a little time, maybe go see the flamingos on the beach. And then we're gonna try to do an ATV, UTV tour thing today. So I'm excited, let's go. So we've made it over to the Renaissance Island portion of the hotel. Um, oh, this is, oh yeah, over here they have Iguana Beach over here. I oh, know I saw those little nasty iguanas in the Bahamas. I'm good on those. <laughs> um, and Flamingo Beach. We're just over here to eat because we can't stay that long. We gotta go get on some ATVs. And, tour around the island and learn some historical type things. <laughs> the water is pretty. It's not as pretty as the Bahamas water. That water was like, Ooh, look at the flamingo! Had a mild change of plans. We're actually going to go do a Jolly Pirate snorkeling cruise, something. Um, so key, like if you come to Aruba, you kind of want to like book your adventures like in advance because everything here books up so quickly. Especially, well, at least the ATV and UTV tours, like that's the most popular adventure excursion that they have here. And I knew yesterday that I wanted to do it today. And I should have booked yesterday, at least when I first got here, but I didn't. So now they're all booked up for today. And I had to like call like 10,000 places to just even get one available UTV for tomorrow. So we'll do that tomorrow. But yeah, let's go have a little fun. Look how beautiful it is. Okay, let's see that. Where'd Roberto go? Did I lose Roberto? Oh. All right, we have made it to the Jolly Pirates boat takes off in 29 minutes so we're on time we're doing good the water is so pretty I haven't put my feet in water yet y'all I'm tripping <laughs> today's gonna be the day yes Lord yes it feels really good out here <gasps> no I need to put the chin strap back on but it makes my double chin triple chin <laughs> I'm like I already got this hereditary fat neck Alright, welcome aboard on the Jolly Pirates. Uh, well guys, in just a minute we're gonna raise the sails. We're gonna go straight to the California uh, lighthouse. Today we're gonna be snorkeling uh, two spots, right? But the third one is where we're gonna use the rope uh, swinging. So do we have any volunteer for the rope swinging later? Yeah! Okay, let's see after a few drinks. We'll get a few crazy ones. Uh, let me introduce myself yes. and the crew to you guys so you know how you can call us. Guys, uh, standing on the front, your first mate. Someone flipped mine upside down. That's why I was confused. I snorkeled y'all, but the water is so salty. I think we stopped at two other locations. I'm not gonna get in because I just, I can't. You know, I love water, but this salty water, ew, and I don't know what it's about to do to my skin. Um, but they do have this rope swing thing that we can do. So I'll get in the water then again. But other than that, I'm good. This is, it's a cute little vibe. Um, they have open bar, uh, pirates, pirates, venom pirates. Pirate something. It's like a trash can punch type of deal. Unlimited of those and you know, just a nice day out on the water. It's nice. <laughs> yeah. So today was cute. The boat was fun. Took a little nap on the way back. Probably got me a nice little suntan. Maybe I'll see it tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to go find Zara. 
because y'all know I have to collect something from every Zara, like everywhere I go. Like it's only right. And Roberto is gonna go do some Roberto type things. <laughs> I said Roberto type things. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm then gonna go find something to eat. I'm looking for like some seafood, some like really good seafood. So we'll see what I find. Wait, everything looks closed. Today is Sunday. It is 5.43 and nothing looks like it's open. And Gabbana. Uh, oh, there's... Oh, I think it is closed, guys. The windows are down. Oh, bummer. They are closed. All right, well, we'll just have to go there tomorrow. That is sad. Sad, sad, sad. It's like the whole Aruba shuts down on Sundays. Like, everything is closed. This is the buffet. Mm. Seafood buffet is $45. Sweet Jesus, $45 damn. So of course I went for the seafood buffet and they had lobster, crab, shrimp, and then the regular buffet, some type of fish, some chicken, mushrooms, a little bit of noki. I am going to thoroughly enjoy this meal and then go take a shower and take a nap Roberto's gonna go do Roberto things and then we're supposed to be meeting up with Medine and Lee later on tonight to go out and have a little bit more fun so So before I start running my mouth about how today was, let's do the reason for the season Bible verse. Today is Luke 1, 18 through 25. Another long one. <laughs> Zechariah asked the angel, how can I be sure of this? Am I an old man and my wife is well along in years? The angel said to him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God and I have been sent to speak to you and tell you the good news. And now you will be silent and not able to speak until this day happens because you did not believe my words, which will come true at their appointed time. Meanwhile, the people are waiting for Zechariah and wondering why he stayed so long in the temple. When he came out, he could not speak to them. They realized he had seen a vision in the temple for he kept making signs to them but remained unable to speak. When his time of service was completed, he returned home. After this, his wife Elizabeth became pregnant and for five months remained in seclusion. The Lord has done this for me, she said. In these days, he has shown his favor and taken away my disgrace among the people. Amen. <sighs> Y'all, I am so tired. I need a good little nap. I don't want to block the view back there. I don't like it. <laughs> um, I need a good nap. It is uh, 7 p.m. 7.43. Um, Aruba is... Oh, it's an hour ahead of New York. So two hours ahead of Houston. Um, so the time is just... It just feels funny. But anyway, so today was so much fun. We did the Jolly Pirates um, snorkeling tour. And the water was so salty, y'all. Like, I have on a hydrating mask on my face right now. Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Detoxifying and Hydrating Mask. Because my skin was so, so dry after I did my normal face wash. Like, usually my skin is decent. I still have to moisturize. It just felt like all the moisture was sucked out. I guess it's just a combination of the skin and the salty, the salty, um, the salty ocean water. Anyways, but it was fun. The guys on the boat were super cool. So if you ever come to Aruba and you just kind of want something to do, like get out, get in the water if you like water, um, that's a fun little activity to do. Um, they have an unlimited an open bar, but it's not like a variety of beverages. It's just like a little trash can punch that they make. 
um, and they stop at about two or three different spots in the water and you can get out and snorkel. They provide the, the fins, the, the mask, the little breathing tube thing, um, and of course life vests. I didn't really snorkel. I just got in the water and paddled my feet a little bit, but it was so salty and the water was a little rough, so I didn't stay in there for long. Um, they had good music playing, so it was a nice little vibe day. Like, you know, I like chill activities like that. So that was cute and fun. Um, and that's really all we've done so far today. Um, Roberto is still out doing his Roberto-ness. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna lay down and actually take a nap right now and whenever he gets back we'll um go find Medine and lee and see what other area of town we can go out and have fun or maybe just go back to the same places we were at last night because we had a good time does it make you old if you have to take a nap on vacation like goodness those naps they just like rejuvenate me so it's 10 30. It's not even the fact that I just need to be rejuvenated. It's like, I'm just not a nighttime person. So going out, like I need to make sure that I like got a little rest before I'm out all night long. And hopefully we won't be out too late tonight. I don't want to tell them that. <laughs> but we're doing, the Roberto and I are doing the um, ATV thing in the morning. And they're coming at 8 a.m. to get us, you know, to do the tour or whatever. So I'm like, Lord, I don't want to be out all night tonight again. <laughs> tell us that yesterday, John. You didn't tell us your name yesterday. I mean, you didn't tell me your name yesterday. Well, you didn't ask. Oh, well, you didn't ask. <laughs> well, you we're we're kind of even. <laughs> I just asked you if you came, you came to watch well, the fight. Yeah, yeah. We were at Hooters yesterday. We just started talking. Kiara. Lee. Kiara. Kiara Lee. Michael by Lee. What, what, what's Bali. your first name? It's Bali. Kiara. It's Kiara Lee. Oh, okay. Kiara. Alexia. Alexia. I'm all gonna right. forget all of your names in your uh, well, That's all right, Jonathan. That's okay. Okay, so Jonathan, tell us where you're from. Venezuela. Venezuela. You live here yes. in Aruba. And how many languages do you speak? Five. Five. That's a lot of languages. You, you have to. You okay, you, you so yeah, tell me why you have to and how did you learn them? You, ha I mean, uh, I'm from Venezuela, so my family speaks Spanish. My mother's from Portugal, so I speak Portuguese because of her. But uh, when I came here, everything was in English. All the TV, the cartoons, I was like, ah, Tom and Jerry, English. Uh, Tom and Jerry, Tom and Jerry. Yes, no, Everything was in English. <laughs> I hated it at first, but it, it was a benefit. So yeah. I learned English through TV. Okay. The school here is in Dutch, so you, oh. you have to know Dutch. There's, there's no... Wow. There's no that. avoiding it. No, you okay. have to. I mean, you start with app, like monkey, app, banana, banan. They, they teach you slowly, yeah. first grade, second grade. And then high school is also in Dutch. Everything's in Dutch. The locals here speak Papiamento. So that's, I mean, if you want to have friends, you have to learn their language. Yeah. And yeah, that's it, basically. So is Papiamento like a mix of languages? Or like... Papiamento used to be a dialect a couple of years back. Okay. They upgraded okay. to a language oh, really? about 20, I don't know how many years ago, a couple decades ago, they upgraded to a language. They speak it here in Curaçao, Bonaire, oh, Curaçao. and a couple other places. I believe they also speak it in Africa in some places, oh. but it um, must be a little different. And it's a mixture of several languages. You have words yeah. from Spanish, you have words from English, from, you have words from everything. Like if you want to say casa, you say cas. Yeah, okay. Cas. Yeah. Auto, car, auto, automobile, auto. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's it. So, it's, it's a big mixture. If, you, if somebody who speaks Spanish will learn Pavimento pretty easily. Pretty easily, right, yeah. Hey. This is water. I've had enough liquor, y'all. Come over here. Roberta, move your body over here. Look at this. It's like a uh, halilal. It's like halal. Oh, right. No. Oh. No, that's fine. Twenty six is still good, and they got more flavors than the others. That's why I'm like, I'm good. Okay. Cool. So we know we need two holes. I'm just we're picking the flavor now. I'm done. What? What do you? I'm um, done. We need to All right, Vlogmas day. Love it. 10. 10. This is Vlogmas Day 10. I don't think I've said that. I'm just confused with the days, y'all. My, my bad. Anyways, 
Thank you for watching Vlogmas Day 10. We are headed back to the hotel. We have an early morning. It's 2.16 a.m. right now. We have ATVs, UTVs at 8 a.m. So we need to get a little, a little cat nap. But um, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. And until tomorrow, bye. Say bye, Roberto. Bye. Roberto's back from doing Roberto things. Ha <laughs> ha!